I am here with Michael Nardoni. Hey. 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 And he is starring in the national tour and the island of Mebet. This is kind of a tour from the National Theatre production at the Olivier Theatre. And you're taking on the lead, the title role. Yes. So how did it feel when you were first told that you were going to take on the iconic Shakespeare role? Well, it's very happy, you know, because when you get to my age, you know, there's a there's a certain there's a time limitation, you know, so yeah. it was kind of good because I thought, right, I can, okay, I can take that now, you know, in a couple of years maybe not so, but so if you wanted to play the role, you got to do it, so and I do, so I have. <laughs> <laughs> when you first looked at it, when you first went through rehearsals, how did you kind of step away from people's like, expectations of human methods? Because he's a real guy. Like I'm not doing the historical, the actual real guy, I mean the character is yeah. to be presented as a real person. And this is a person who, I think, no one is born evil. I think widely as a society we accept that. It's the conditions and situations that impact you on your early life that might, that might channel other things in you that are perceived to be evil. I don't think neither neither Macbeth or Lady Macbeth are evil people. They are susceptible to the temptation of something better. In this instance, they are they are they they, 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 they it's the, the brain is there's a crack in the brain is made and the seed is dropped in and the seed of Germany's and it, it overgrows. And I think that that's what happens here, but it, it was never it's never the, wasn't what was intended in the beginning, and I think that was very important. That the potential is in everybody for this to happen to you. And so it's about your morals, it's about morality. You know, what is the level of your greed? Well, are you moral enough to go, I don't need that, I'm quite happy with what I have. So it's a test. But I think he starts off as a very, very ordinary, grounded individual. Macbeth and Lady Macbeth, there's always the thing of who's the actual one in control um, or who's the mastermind of the two and I guess for me I've always seen it as it changes through, I, I feel like the power between them always changes depending on the scene. Well, it's, I don't think either of them intend to have power each other. I think they have, they rely on each other. They rely on each other, and so it's kind of you know he 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 has the idea, and she supports the idea, and then she promotes the idea. So he goes with the promotion of the idea. He exercises the idea. Then she realizes that oh, actually that was a bad idea. But he thinks no, it was a good idea. Yeah. And she thinks it's such a bad idea. I have to die. And he thinks, oh shit, she's died because of that. Maybe not such a good idea after all. So it's a kind of a weird little... Yeah. But I don't think that it's a power struggle between the pair of them. I don't think that at all. I think it's a fragmentation of their love, of a very loving relationship. Right. Um, I have nothing else to add. <laughs> In a more contemporary play, how do you deal with when he meets the witches? And how do you perceive who they are? Witch is the wrong word to describe them, however, you know, they're called witches because of what was going on in Scotland in 1606 yeah. and just previous. So there's a reason why they're called witches. Yeah. They're not witches, they are, they are the, uh, in, in world mythology, the three figures, the three female figures of the Trinity, the fates, are in every culture. Yeah. They exist everywhere. Of course, predominantly in, in Greek mythology, they decide. Everything. You know, they are the they are the triple spiral, the triple goddess. They are all of them. They are they are in total control. The thread of them. They decide when they're gonna cut it and when they're not. And so when he so which he's not so when he first comes across them, they are to him, to him they are just creatures. They're like who are these? Strange consistency. This is no good deal. You know. But the only reason he knows that he saw them for real is because Banco saw them too. I mean, Banco hadn't seen them. He'd have put it down to his imagination after the heat of battle, exhaustion, whatever, a dream, you know. But because it was corroborated by an eyewitness, he was able to go, there is some substance in this. That's why he says to his wife, I just meant these three weirdos, they told me I'm going to be the king. 
you know. Yeah. And so I, I think that it's if you had a dead relative, right? You're leaving here this afternoon. Walked up to you and had a conversation with you and said, "You're going to be the next prime minister." You'd believe it, yeah. right? You'd believe it. Why wouldn't you? Because yeah. they said it. Them it said. They said, you know. And so I think that's what's going to happen. Is that what's what happens? You know, it's something of us. You know, whether they're solid or wraiths or in mid or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Bank was solid too, so therefore it confirms for him that there was something, uh, something uh, tangible about it. Where would you go down to? Is there, is there like a specific city or a theatre that you're really excited to see the show you take? Yes, there is. Um, the Festival Theatre in Edinburgh, because that's where I live. That's where I'm from, and that's where all my family are, and all my friends, and so the opportunity to go to Edinburgh and my old town and play this in my, bed, in my own voice is, uh, you know, that's a real thrill. Going to every city to perform for the schools is also quite a high, it's quite a nice, also very important to me. Going there is cool. How do you think, because of the Mabeth's on the syllabus, so how for you do you think this production helps students get to understand the Well, it might, it's, this version of this play is slightly different from the, the version that's laid down in, the, in the, the books that they might be reading, whether it's the Oxford, the Arden, or the Penguin, whichever one they're using to study is very different. There's been a, a slight rearrangement and some uh, little lips and the tweaks to the narrative which tell a full story uh, actually and I think that they, as they watch it they might miss some things about it but they'll gain a whole lot more and what it's going to do is going to make them go in the school to the classroom the next day and it's going to provoke debate with their teacher and they can discuss it that is that you then you've won if you can get kids to go and talk about the play in relation to the production of it that they saw, and how, you know, to, to be very analytical, then this, uh, this, this works, it works, it works, you know? Okay, and my final question is... I'm 21. <laughs> my final question is, um, just quick and simple, why should people come and see Macbeth? It's the National Theatre. They're coming to you. They're bringing top class theatre to you, they're bringing Shakespeare to you, you know, and uh, it's a fantastic version, it's a fan fantastic production, it's big, it's bold, it's, you know, big sets, it's very kind of ambient and uh, very kind of, you know, uh, very muscular and uh, I, I think this, I, I can't think of anything uh, apart from the fact that I'm in it. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I mean, that's the biggest reason. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I saw a bit of it. Oh, it's well, I'm really excited because I didn't get to see it when it was here, so I mean, I'm like, already wanted to see it because I've never seen it especially, so it's like my big. Oh, now your chance, and listen, yeah. I've never been to Wolverhampton, so it's a, it's a trade, right? I mean, our theatre is pretty amazing. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Absolutely. So if you haven't already, make sure you book tickets to see the tour of Macbeth, especially Wolverhampton, hometown, represent. But so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll see you on another video soon. Bye guys. See you there. Thank you.